Welcome to the InventGeek.com LCD uh, backlight repair overview. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is kind of revisiting an article we did oh, three years ago that uh, ironically is the most popular article we've ever produced. Uh, a lot of people have been buying LCD monitors. Uh, you know, they've kind of reached a price point some years ago where they were affordable. But uh, the problem is, well, I question how well these are being made. Um, usually what happens is these will last for two years, maybe three years, and then they'll go out. Um, now there's some tricks and tips to be able to revitalize and, and uh, repair your monitor, and we're going to go over some of those. Um, so with this particular monitor, I wanted to kind of do a quick review of one of the problems that I was having, and uh, at least give one example on how to fix a, a, a backlight or a, a LCD problem. So with this monitor, uh, it doesn't want to power on. Um, at least, that's how it appears. So, what I've done is I've unplugged the power cord. Um, let the monitor sit for a few minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to come back here and... Uh, well, not the best angle in the world, but you get the gist. We're going to plug in the power. Now, the reason we let the, uh, the monitor sit is so that it kind of forgets its settings. <clears throat> All right, so we got our monitor plugged in. Now, with this monitor, uh, I thought it wasn't working at all, but I had an interesting little indicator. So right now, the uh, the monitor is turned off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the monitor, and very briefly, very briefly, we saw the image. So that told me immediately that the panel is actually fine. Um, the power indicator is still on, but there's no picture. So, being a little bit, you know, ingenuitive, uh, what I ended up doing was taking a flashlight. This is just a cheap headlight from one of our bikes we take out to Burning Man. Um, if you take this, you can see very faintly the image by putting it directly up to the monitor. So I know my monitor's working. The problem with this case is the backlight. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into this uh, monitor and see if we can't revitalize it and uh, repair it. And, you know, unfortunately, they don't make replacement parts for these, so uh, we're going to have to possibly get a little creative. Uh, so let's kind of take a, a quick look on the inside. All right, so what we've done here is we've just torn off the uh, the back of the uh, monitor. Um, this is a pretty simple process. Most monitors are the same. You have a little uh, clip system around the edge. You just pop off, or a panel on the back screws, and then you pop the edges off to remove the back panel. Uh, this is the shielding panel um, for all the electronics of the monitor, and it simply comes off. And now we finally get a good look at the uh, at the innards here. So over here we have the image processing portion of the LCD monitor. Over here we have the power supply portion. Now we can see here that we have our um, 12 volt input, and we have danger written all over the place on this thing. Now why is that? Well, monitor tubes, the little uh, cold cathode tubes that are inside the monitor, they run at a very high voltage, very much like your uh, fluorescent tubes uh, that you see in the ceiling. Um, so this is one of those things you don't want to play with powered on. Okay, Lots and lots of transformers here, lots and lots of voltage, and it'll probably make you cry. Now, uh, an interesting thing with this monitor, if we look at it, we see obviously four totally separate um, tubes that are being powered. Um, the interesting thing is I didn't see any cables um, going down to the tubes and it wasn't until closer inspection I saw these little guys there's two little bridges on this monitor and that is how we are powering the tubes inside the monitor well that makes this just a little bit more difficult but not something that we still can't uh, repair now the trick is most vendors don't sell a replacement board you're just kind of stuck. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take a 
cold cathode kit. This is the inverter from it. This is like, you know, used in just uh, cheap computer case lighting and things like that. And we are going to be installing that into the case um, to power these tubes. It's a pretty simple process and we're going to walk you through it. Uh, InventGeek.com will have full instructions and full details of uh, how we've done this. Um, we'll have uh, pretty much nothing else on this video um, going over this. Uh, so you'll want to go to InventGeek for the uh, InventGeek.com for the full step-by-step -step how to instructions on how to replace this. So there's your, uh, there's your quick overview of our next LCD repair project and uh, we hope you go to our site and uh, read the full article and uh, save a few bucks and save your monitors.